here and I've got my work cut out for me. I have neglected to clean my pastels for three years. I'm not kidding. Three years have gone by. I usually do it every January, end of December. It's kind of my annual thing. Last year we were on a cruise. Didn't get to it. The year before that I don't even remember. But so it's been, this will be, well, at least two years of dirty pastels. So they are really dirty. They are in dire need of cleaning and organizing. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just take time today and do it before the new year begins. So what I want to do is take you along with me on this cleanup journey. Um, and so that you can well, learn a couple lessons. One, don't wait three years because it will be an easier task. Um, and to give you some tips on how you can both clean your pastels and organize them. I also, besides cleaning them, I've got to organize them. You can see over here, what I've done is I've emptied my shelves that I have boxes of pastels. Now, I have to say, this is an accumulation of probably 13 years of pastel collecting. Um, I don't collect anything else, just pastels, so you can, it's kind of okay that I have this many, um, many were gifted to me. So they're not all my purchases, some I won. Um, but um, yeah, I did buy quite a few as well. Um, and those of you who've been collecting pastels know about the addiction. But it gets out of control. And what happens is if you don't organize them, then you're not going to use them. And so right now I'm at this point where I've only been working at, I believe it or not, I've been working at this small box back here just because it's too overwhelming. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, I just don't have enough pastels. There is a problem when you can have too many pastels. When you have too many pastels, it's overwhelming and you really can't use them. So one of my goals for the new year is to start using some of the sets I haven't used before. I'm also going to be testing out some sets for you guys to try if you want to really just get simple sets uh, if you're just starting out. And I am working on putting together my own set of Terry Ludwig pastels, which I've shared with some of you. So I, part of the reason I've got to clean up is I've got to get organized with that. So I've got a lot of goals. So what I'm going to be doing is first organizing my main studio box. Um, I'm going to clean them, organize them, and then I'm going to worry about all the rest of these um, miscellaneous pastels. So I want to start off by giving you a couple of tips when it is time to clean out your, your box or your studio box. Well, the first tip is this. It's really important that no matter how many pastels you have, so if you're just starting out, you don't have a lot, that you have them all in one box. Because... If you have them all in their own original manufacturer's boxes, you don't really get to paint as efficiently as you could, as if you could see them all together in one box. So it's important that you have them all in one box and you arrange them by color and by value. And I'll talk more about that as I go on. Um, my preferred boxes are these Heilman boxes. So I have several sizes ranging from the backpack size to the sketchbook size and this is the mini pack which is the, the newest uh, model if you will. But these are pricey, well worth it, but they also, we also have uh, Dakota makes a, tr uh, a wooden box. This box here that I have, my dad made it for me. It doesn't close so I use it as a studio box. This is a Dakota box. But I have another set that I want to put out, and I'm going to be putting them out in upside-down canvases. And that'll be another video for another day. But you don't have to spend a lot of money if you just need it for your studio. But you do need to have them all in one box. So that's number one. Number two, you want to arrange them by color and by value. And you can do it in, in a couple different ways. You can <clears throat> either use each section of a box of your box and go down from dark to light. So here's the yellows and the reds and the pinks, uh, oranges, and so on. Or you could go the other direction and have all the color darks and then kind of gradually go down in a rainbow uh, getting uh, lighter. It um, doesn't matter which way you go, it just pick one and stick with it. 
Now what I like to do when I'm ready, ready to rearrange my box or redo my box, or if you've never done a box, is I like to go through, um, go on Pinterest and find pastel boxes, photos of pastel boxes that you can look at where an artist has done a really good job. And this is um, Richard McKinley's box, and when I took his workshop many years ago, several years ago, I took a picture of his box. And so I'm going to use this as a guide to make sure that I uh, have my colors arranged in the best way possible. So that's going to be a help. The second thing you want to do, besides having an, uh, a, a picture to work from, is to make sure you allot plenty of time. So this is going to be time consuming and, I want, and I've set aside the rest, it's Sunday, it's raining, it's a perfect day to do this. Uh, so you don't want to start it and then leave it, it's a mess, you just want to be done with it. It's a mess, so you want to get out some gloves. Um, I had a Instagram re reader or follower remind me, don't forget the gloves. I don't paint with gloves, but I'm, it's very drying and it's going to be messy, so I will wear the gloves for this. You also need to have space. So I set aside this whole table for this process. I've, I've covered it with some uh, newsprint paper to protect the table. And um, I'm prepared, prepared to make, oh, I've got my wipes, prepared to make a mess. So how do we go about cleaning the pastels? Now, normally if I'm painting, I just use a towel or paper towel and just wipe them off as I paint. But uh, in such a large scale cleaning pro process, there are pastel cleaners, little machines that you know, shake the pastels. I've never used one. Um, but I'm going to use cornmeal. So we got a couple of uh, cans of cornmeal, put it in a big bowl. Can, can you see this? Alright, so I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do this. So let's pick a dirty one here. Some of these, I'm, I'm really embarrassed to say, are almost too far gone. Not quite sure what color this one is. That means it's time to clean it. So I throw it in the cornmeal and I'm actually, and I'm going to just shake it, shake it, shake it. And I'm actually, when I do clean this, I will do several or a bunch of pastels at a time because they really won't break. All right, so I'm just going to give another quick shake, sh shake off the cornmeal and there we have it. Look how clean that is and how easy that was. Now I know what color it is. Oh, I'm so excited to have clean pastels. I'm going to put that in the box and when I have emptied out each section then I'll go back and rearrange them. Now, some of these pieces are too small. I'm not going to put them back. Okay, so the little chips I'm going to put I'm into these jars back here. Can you see these jars back here? These jars are pastel chips and they're, they're organized by roughly by color. I can use these chips to make my own pastels and we will do that. I'll show that in another video in a few weeks well, when I get caught up. I hope this doesn't take me a few weeks. But <laughs> chips go in the buckets. If I have pieces that are really too small to go in here but too big for chips, like say maybe this size, they're going to go in this. Uh, container right here after I clean them. I'm going to use these when I paint minis. When I paint small paintings, I can use these little smaller pieces. Uh, so too big to make pastel dust out of, then they go in this box. If they're chips, they go in here. Big ones get rearranged by color and value. And now I am going to put on some art podcast to listen to while I work. And I'm going to just plug away and I'll come back in just a few minutes. Well, nah. I'll, it'll be a few minutes for you, but I'll come back after I've gotten more of this done to show you my progress. All right, it's, mm, I'm halfway done. How long has it been? An hour, an hour? Two. I've listened to two podcasts anyways. Good ones too. Uh, you can see my cornmeal is getting a little dirty. Uh, not so much that I'm going to change it. It's still working very well. Um, I've emptied out half of this box. I cannot believe how many tiny bits there were. These are too small really to put in the big box. Um, not too small to paint with, but too small to put in the big box. Look at my cup overfloweth of red bits. So I'm going to be making some really fun red pastels, orangey red pastels. So that's good. And then what I decided to do 
is make this box my working studio box. The, the sections are not as long, but I can have more uh, choices for sections. So I can have an orange section, a red, a purple, a cool blue, a warm blue. I'll do a cool green, a warm green, and then some grays. So I have more choices. But then I have to decide what I'm going to do with this big box. And I think I'm leaning towards emptying some of my other boxes that are just over here and make up a whole nother studio box. And then I can just like take turns when I want to try a different studio box just for a change of pace. Um, maybe I'll put all Terry Ludwig's in this box. So I'm still kind of thinking my way through uh, trying to be organized. This is a, a, a variety of mostly Terry Ludwig's, some Diane Townsend, and some Unison pastels. Uh, that's all of these. They're not all full sticks. Some of them are in half. Some of them are pieces. But I feel I felt like they were all big enough pieces that they could go in the box. Um, so I'm now going to get back to work. Oh, all right, it's been two hours, and I have managed to empty out this entire two boxes, really, of bits. And again, I can't stress how. Well, I guess I'm not really surprised at how small these bits have gotten in three years' time. And that I actually was painting with these little bits. So, I don't want to put them back in the box, so I've only put back what I considered almost full sticks or, or just big enough to, to paint with. These are the little bits that are left. I will probably paint smaller paintings with these, or I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them yet. That's the really tiny ones I'm going to make pastels with. This is the result of the cornmeal. It's now quite dirty, but it's still managing to clean off the pastels. But I think if I were if I were to have any more pastels to clean at this point, I would get rid of this and start with a fresh uh, container. So what I'm going to do next is I do have some other boxes that I'm going to go through, uh, miscellaneous boxes, and I'm going to see if I can't fill this box maybe with another uh, set. And then that way I'll have two sets to play with. So I'm going to kind of regroup, take a break, and then see what I'm going to do with the rest of the pastels. But right now I'm pretty happy that I at least have one box. And, and I think you might be surprised I'm going to take a picture uh, so that you can see a close-up. You might be surprised that it has some holes in it. You know, there are some pieces missing. Um, but I didn't want to put little tiny bits in there, so I have to look at this and say, okay, I guess I need a, a, a middle light value cool blue. Uh, I need to have lighter cool greens, right? I have them somewhere in my collection, but I have to replace them in my box. And I think this is what happens a lot of times when you're starting your collection. You'll have holes like this, and then you'll be able to figure out what you need to do to fill in those holes. So um, I will be back to wrap up this video when I'm finished, and that might not be until tomorrow. All right, I'm back. It's the next day. I think I spent five hours total yesterday <coughs> Excuse me, on this project. I knew it was going to be a, a long haul. I think I probably have about two hours left, so I really made progress, and I wanted to show you my progress. This is the box that I put together for my working studio box, and I want to point out that it is not a lot of pastels, right? I mean, you saw all the pastels I have, but I managed to whittle it down to not that many. But the truth of the matter is we don't need as many pastels as we think we do to paint a painting. We need a good variety of values and colors. We need some bright intense colors and we need those dull neutral colors. And this box will definitely be tweaked as I paint over the next few weeks. So as I paint and I realize, oh, I really need a, a darker, cooler blue. All right, so then what I'm going to do is look in my spare parts for that. Okay, so what I have is this is my overflow boxes in this crate. So here's my blue, for example. So if I'm missing a darker, cooler blue, I look in here and say, oh, well, here's one, this will work, and then I can put it in my box. So this is the overflow, and I have one for every color family, uh, and that's what I'll do to tweak my box. And uh, this way I am not overwhelmed by too many choices at once. I also have 
all of the bits. Now, I don't know if I can pull this out, but you can get an idea. And I'm going to show pictures. These are all of the larger bits that I managed to get out of my box. I'll just give you a picture of that up close. I might use these, you know, if I really need a color that I can't find, but they're too big to crunch, to, to mush up and to make pastels. Um, for that, I put those into jars and I'll be making pastels with those little smaller bits. These bits are kind of too small for the box, but too big to, to make into other pastels. All right. What am I going to do next? I'm going to finish up the uh, project today. Um, and so join me over here at the work table. What I have left is an empty box. I have some harder pastels. So these are mostly new pastels. I'm going to clean them as well and I'm going to put them in this smaller box by color family. So um, you'll get, you get the idea. I use hard pastels for underpaintings and I also use them for um, little details like grasses and those kind of things. So I, I like to have a little variety of hard pastels and the, they are not as fragile as the softer pastels so I can just throw them all together in this one box. So I'm working on that and then I decided that for this empty studio box I'm going to put in all my spare Terry Ludwigs. So all this you see behind me are boxes of Terry Ludwig pastels that I have broken up the sets so they're not complete sets anymore but I want to put them all together by color and value. Now there'll definitely be holes in color and value, but at least all the Terry Ludwigs will be in one place, so when I want to replace a Terry Ludwig pastel, I know where to find those. So that's what I'm going to do uh, today. <clears throat> now this little guy, this little mice, mouse, is uh, <clears throat> to remind me to tell you guys this. I posted this uh, project on Instagram and someone commented to me that they cleaned their pastel with cornmeal, which is what I'm using. And they had a, a, a mice infestation in their studio. Now, I can see how that could happen because there are crumbs of cornmeal mixed in with the pastel where you're not careful to get all the uh, dust off of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take my box out with some canned air and get rid of all the crumbs. Take it outside to do this. I have seen people use a vacuum cleaner where they cover the hose with um, a screen. So I'm going to experiment with that. Uh, my vacuum is pretty strong. I got to adjust the settings. I think I don't want to. I don't want to vacuum up my pastel. So I'm going to experiment with that. But the caution to you is if you're going to use cornmeal or rice or any food product to clean your pastel. Make sure you don't leave any of those little morsels for our friends to find. Um, a really good substitute is sand. So if you don't live by the beach, head over to the hardware store, get some play sand, and use sand, and then, then you won't have to worry about it. But thank you for that Instagram follower for that tip. I'm going to be sure to get all the crumbs out of my pastel. So I'm going to go back to work, and I will return when I am completely finished with this project. Thanks for... for uh, your patience. All right, I'm finished. Uh, two days later, it actually wasn't so bad. I had breaks, uh, but I did finish um, this. I ended up put my old box, studio box. It's just storage. These are my my extra Terry Ludwig pastels. So when I run low on something or I need something, I'll check this box first before I order something new. Uh, so now that I'm organized, I feel like I can be more efficient and that's one of the things I want to do this year is to paint more efficiently and not to have to uh, stumble around the studio trying to clean up and trying to get organized. I'm going to start the year organized and then that way I can do more paintings and that's what I'm really excited about. And so the next video I'm going to do the first painting demo of the year and I'm excited I'm going to do that tomorrow and so stay tuned for that and thanks for tuning in.